the question is like, how did we, you know, kind of grow from the beginning, and how did we originally, you know, attract both users and then, uh, you know, advertisers or, or paying customers in, into the fold? You know, the, the simple version of the question is, on the user side, the way that Yelp works is, and and what we believe makes Yelp special, um, is that the vast majority of reviews you will read on Yelp are written from regular reviewers. That probably makes sense. But I'm going to just sort of clarify that for a moment. Because if you were to use other review sites of all different kinds of products, if you go to Amazon, for instance, you'll see a lot of reviews for products. And you look at that person's profile, and they've written one product review. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's a very different model than our model. When you look at the profile of the users who write on Yelp, you'll tend to find people who have written dozens or hundreds of reviews. And they're effectively using Yelp as a kind of lifestyle blog. So how do we find those people? Well, it actually sort of starts one person at a time. We hire in every city that we're in somebody that we call the community manager for Yelp. And they're effectively an ambassador for Yelp in their market. Um, they become the face and voice of Yelp. And they start by you know, trying to recruit their mom and their friend and their kid sister um, to join the community and try Yelping. Right? And what does that mean to Yelp? Well, it means go explore all the different neighborhoods in your city and try out different businesses and go into different shops and restaurants and parks and, and then blog about them. Tell people what you think. And as it turns out, you know, when, when they start that, um, your mom may not like it, but your kid sister does, and, you know, and so on, as you sort of reach out to more people in your concentric circles, and then they bring in their friends, and so on. And it really becomes a grassroots, you know, on the street, people meeting each other and, and trying Yelping kind of a thing. Now, as you can imagine, in time, what that does is that content then uh, brings in lots of traffic on the user side. How many people in the room, we saw hands, and it was almost everybody here has used Yelp probably to find a business. How many people actually wrote reviews? That's a lot more than I would have thought. But that's great. Thank you very much. Um, so you know, still a pretty small percentage of this room, right? As a general statement, what I would tell you is that it's low single digits of percentages of all Yelp users are actually those who create content, right? Pretty common. But the good news is, for everybody who writes reviews, you're going to bring in lots, like dozens or hundreds of people who read the reviews. And for every one of those people who comes in and reads the reviews, some small percentage of them are going to go like, hey, that looks cool. I'll try writing, just like the people who just raised their hands. And they then become Yelpers, and it begins to feed itself. But that offline piece of the equation has always been really important to us. So as people start writing reviews, did any people who put up their hands for writing reviews, have you guys, any of you are elite members or been to a Yelp event? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we've actually got some. So, so some of those people who actually try contributing actually get into the sub-community of people who are ongoing Yelp participants. And you know, the sort of the pinnacle of that is being a Yelp elite member. Um, and that's you know, basically being invited into the fold of this community who then meets and puts faces to names. And you know, among other things, it tends to actually keep everybody honest because it's you know, real people writing real reviews with real faces and all that kind of thing. So that's the short version of the answer on the kind of consumer and community and writer side. On the advertiser side or the customer side, that's different. We have a sales force that we've uh, built up over the years. And it's mostly a phone-based sales force where we call into local businesses and say something along the line of, hey, 100 people looked at your business on Yelp last month. Would you like even more of them to look at your business? Right? We've got a suite of ad products that we could sell you and show you what they are. And if you're interested, we can help you get started. And that's more or less what that conversation looks like. And um, we have tried offline sales and some other approaches as well. Uh, we found at this point that the phone-based sales force is the most effective, but you know we continue to experiment with other things. 